Okay. 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 Mike required. Every team gets a question. One we will do cycle, cyclic round and the anti-clockwise first one. Okay. So if each team get a question, okay, that is your question. But if somebody knows the answer, they can pounce on it. That is called pounce. Okay. The team the question will be for each of the team one by one. But others, if they know, you can pounce on it. Okay. If you get it wrong, there is a negative mark. If the question is directly to you, if you get it wrong, you won't have a negative. So you are encouraged to guess. But the one who is pouncing, if you guess it wrong, you will get, you get it wrong or you don't answer, you will lose the marks. Okay. Straight question, 10 mark. Pass question, 5 marks. You can answer when it pounces you. That is called bounce. The question keep on bouncing to each of you. If they don't answer, answer me. If you answer a direct question, you'll get 10 points. When we pounce? Huh? When should we pounce? When I ask the question, if anybody knows the answer, you can pounce on it. Okay. okay? But if you will get a negative. But when it comes to your normal, this one, you will not get any negative. You can take your guesses. Okay. Anybody doubt? If we pass, the question passed, and you get the wrong answer, then also it's negative. No, no, no. Only when, when the question is directed to you only, if you get it wrong, there is no negative. When the question is directed to others, you are pouncing on the question and get it wrong, or you don't answer whatever it is, it is negative. Same for uh, correct, getting correct, minus five for getting wrong. Fine, scores. Anybody has doubt regarding the this one? Okay, so we'll start in the anti -clock clockwise direction first. Uh, okay, first question. To team one, what's the reset? Anybody can pause. Okay? Please don't answer till I ask you to answer, please. You don't have to buzzer. This question is directly for you. Even if somebody pauses, you will get your option if they don't get it right. Okay? First question. You can see there also. There also. I'm not this one. Okay? Fine. Please have a look at this video. <laughs> Nikomnetsu 
Ova duša nema to, ova duša nema to, za me zore sve će gore. Hello, I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, the question is, Cristiano Ronaldo refuses to put tattoo because, direct question, anybody can pounce on it. Okay, one minute, since he has paused, I will go to him. Sir, because he can, he can avoid the deferral period of one year for blood, for blood donation. Yes. Uh, so what is there? Little box here to be specific. Who is that and why? What is this relation? Passes to team two. You don't have to answer the first part. First part is correct. He doesn't want it to get tattooed because he doesn't want to be deferred. He wants to donate blood. He is a regular blood donor. That is the answer. I want to also tell you to tell you the second part. What is this relation? Both of them are in same uh, Portugal team. Yeah. Uh, she is a transition dependent guy. Okay, very nice one. So pass it to team three. No, you no wait in the party. Uh, sir, uh, to actually, is he, it is his blood relation that he couldn't. This is blood related. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, anybody from the audience? First, can you tell who is this guy? Yes, yes. No, he's not his brother. I don't think he has one. Anybody? Nobody? Okay, he's Carlos Martin. He has a three-year-old kid. He's, of course, a teenage. And a three-year-old kid, uh, daughter, who is suffering from leukemia. And that is when he was uh, got to know about all this transplant, blood transfusion and all. That is the day he decided, started donating blood and then Due to the, uh, he came to know that tattoos are bad and you will be deferred. And that is what led to him not accepting tattoos. He said he will never go for tattoo. Five points to team two and team one. Nothing for the audience. Okay. Second question, direct question to team uh, buzzer is it? Yes. Team two. Okay. This is an early 14th century pen drawing. What does it delineate? The surrounding text is basically in Latin. You have to tell me what it tells. Anybody pouncing? Nobody pouncing. Uh, Vene puncture sites. Very good. It's a Vene puncture site. How many? Bloodletting. Correct. Why so many sites are there? No, 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 no. Only to it. If you want, you can pounce on it. You will lose marks if you get it negative. Okay, bounce us to three. <coughs> Correct. For what? Why so many? Okay, bounce us to team four. Bounce us to team five. Uh, no, why so many sides? Fantastic. Fantastic. So, five points to team two. It is the sites of bloodletting. Correct. Why so many different is? They had for each disease. For this disease, you have to let out from here. For each, this disease, you have to let out from here. Like that, for each condition, that is what? As early as 14th century. Five to team two and five to team six. Okay, third question to team three. Okay, this is Lord Dhanavantri, physician of the Devas in Hinduism. He is regarded as an avatar of Vishnu. He has four arms. One, two, three, four. Can you please tell me what he is holding on the fourth arm and what is it? Or why is it? He is considered God of medicine. Um, Pounce anybody? 
No harm. Okay. Dhanvantari has uh, that, uh, uh, that sword like thing for uh, um, sword? Uh, not sword actually. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, something uh, to like to make a uh, like a lancet kind of thing. Okay, sponsors to team four. A sickle depicting surgery. Sickle? No. Good day. Team five. Team six. Team one. Sir, it might be representing leech. Fantastic answer. It is leech. leech. And For the Hindu medicinalis. And uh, it is called Chaloka, the creature which lives in the pond or water. And it was used for treating a lot of diseases. At that time, especially myonecrosis and all very common. So, team one gets full 10 points because nobody has got a partial answer. Team one, 10 points. Next question to directly team four. No, but uh, it's not partial answer, it's a complete answer. Pass question is fine. Okay, pass is fine. Sorry, okay, fine. Then past half, half point if they are done, it is 2.5 months. Initially, it was a half answer. Before. Yeah, <laughs> which one? First question, which we answered, we answered half, they answered half. So, you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, that was pounds. That was a pounds. That was a pounds. This was pounds. That was pounds. That was pounds. Yeah, yeah. Team four, direct question to you. Buzzer reset. Okay. This is King Henry apparently had six wives or married six times. Okay. Obviously, uh, he had a medical disorder. And this is one of the reasons why he married six. Okay. So, what was the medical disorder and why did he get into this? Uh, this one? Anybody pouncing? Nobody pouncing. Hemophilia. He was not a hemophilia. Uh, passes to team five. Team six. Sickle cell. No. Uh, McLeod syndrome. Fantastic. McLeod syndrome. Half of the answer. But why did he marry so funny? What is the difference with the? Uh, so that he'll get, he'll get uh, one child who who may not have the disease. Okay. Anything you want to improve on the answer? Uh, okay. Passes to team uh, two. Mendelian's law. He wants to break. No. Think about Mechli or you'll get the answer. Team three. Fantastic. It is sex linked, so what? Uh, so that um, female, female, uh, male, uh, uh, this um, empire is going to the male child. So, uh, good, I mean, uh, all this six will provide the X chromosome, no? Uh -huh. So, uh, all the six will provide one at a time only. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> female. Uh, okay, anybody from the audience? Okay, answer is correct. She will get a chocolate, not a marker. The answer is, it was an extreme disorder. So, it is said that they had, all of them had abortions. And whenever they had a male baby, they had abortion because obviously it's an extreme, uh, this one, HDFN and all that. Uh, so, he tried to have a male baby by marrying different different people, but the problem was with him, so he never could have them. That is the answer. So do we get? You will get five points because you said uh, next thing. We told five. No, no somebody said you said McLeod. Five. five points for you and uh, two point for you. Two point five for team three because uh, they did not explain the problem. Okay, five for team one and two point five for. Okay, that's a good one. Yes. Next question directly to team five.
look at this movie Will I be brave like you one day? Remember when I told you to shoot the deer and you said no? That's being brave. Right. <laughs> Mr. Logan, the situation with your son is dire. If he appears before this court again, he'll be taken from your care. How do you know where I live? Right under surveillance. I need your help, son. Remember oh, this stuff. You've forgotten about Tony McManus. Who oh, I did that. Because you're my brother. Are you going hunting? Friends okay. always good. Yes, sir. Ned, we go! It's not yet! Anybody for the polls? You're a soldier. You want to, I want you to identify the movie. You had to do. Well, I'm just wondering if you. Okay, that is question 15. Ah. 15, 1. Team 2, guess, man, guess. What is this all about? Bones, so you don't have to bother to guess. This is actually, uh, they're trying to find a mass donor. Movie name, I'm not sure. <laughs> they're trying to find a donor for a particular person, so they induce a car accident. Fantastic. The movie name is Transfusion. Why the movie is called Transfusion? Because it has nothing to do with this. Hey, audience, chocolates are given. Anybody can tell me why it is called Transfusion? Okay, apparently, this guy has uh, spent a lot of his years in Iraq in the war. Okay? Then, he almost spent his entire life in the army. Then actually, he comes out of the army and goes to the civilian life. And uh, he find it very difficult to cope up or live with them because obviously it's a very different world out there. Okay, so the word transfusion is because he is transfused or put into a unfamiliar this one so that's why it is called transmission otherwise nothing to do with the transmission <laughs> okay so the last question of round one is to team six okay it is obvious that influences opposite to those producing temporary full bloodedness will produce temporary lack of fluid within the vessels so acute diarrhea purgation deprivation of liquids Rapidly accumulated serous effusions, profuse vomiting or sweating produce a temporary concentration of the blood by draining out its diffusible elements like mainly water. All these influences are transitory. More permanent drains on the system like chronic diarrhea, diabetes, insipidus, or menstrual. Long standing suppuration show no evidence of lessening the volume of blood in the vessel. So, this is an explanation for one of the classic syndrome described in medicine obviously something to do with transmission also so what is the syndrome or whose explanation is this team six anybody for the pounds anybody for the pounds okay no pounds team six hemophilia no hemophilia team one Team two. Polycythemia. 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 Uh, the hemo concentration. Can, can you tell the syndrome? Hemochromatosis or no? Uh, Lilla Paul. Polycythemia. Team four. Just polycythemia vera and. Uh, no, not polycythemia. No, anybody from the audience? Very classic description. It is polycythemia, but it's not real. It is no, 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 no. <laughs> it is spurious polycythemia or Geisbock syndrome. This is the explanation by Geisbock. Whenever there is see, concentration, diarrhea, 
So it is Gaze box syndrome. This is the classic uh, description of Gaze box himself when we presented this paper. Okay. Huh? Marks for polycythemia, it was a pound, so 2.5 for team 2. <laughs> okay, so the next round will be anti clockwise. So, direct question to team 6, buzzer reset. Identify this. Anybody for the pounds? Pound, one minute. Lysosome storage disorders? No, passes to team five. Passes to team four. Passes to team three. Passes to team one. Anyway, they have pound stand. Got it right, it is. Anybody? Very classic. What is this? Multi-lobe nucleus. Then you have the fibrous beer. Neutrophil entrapment syndrome. Net. Netosis or 10 full points to team 1. Netosis. Okay. Direct question to team 2. Sorry, team 5. Uh, buzzer reset, please. Okay. Darax, what is this or what is it used for? Anybody for the phone? Uh, Not DNA expression, team 4. Team 3. Yes. Team 2. Yes, what direct is Fantastic. I think that the data treated red cells so that they don't interfere with the uh, compatibility of team. Five points to team two. The next question, direct question to team four. Okay. Team four. Okay. There are some very famous characters in this. Especially look at this character here, she and her. It's an important uh, world renowned uh, issue with uh, fraternity testing. Anybody for the pound? Uh, is this Mrs. Oh, Kell? Anybody for the pound? Is this Mrs. Keller on whom the Kell blood no. groups? Three. Yes. Dolly. Dolly? No, no, no. Dolly is a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Monica, Monica Lewinsky. This is not Monica Lewinsky. That one, that one. And what about this? Very. Yeah. Sir. Team one. Team six. Five. Started with you. Audience. This one, look at it. Look at him. Yes. Charles. No, Charles. Charles. Charles, what? Charlie Chaplin. Oh. And that is Joan Barry and her daughter. Uh, uh, jo this is her daughter. And uh, this was a whoa, very world famous case where she accused him of fathering her. And uh, basically, Charlie Chaplin had a group O, she had A, and she had B. So it's a very well-renowned uh, paternity dispute case. It is Charlie Chaplin. No points to anybody. Charlie Chaplin, Joan Berry, very famous. And the daughter is a very good pianist now. OK? That is how they uh, solved that. So question directly to team. Uh, three. Okay, so these people, very famous, you would have known him. They created a Guinness record for something. Who are they? What is this? Okay. 
He conducted the largest uh, yeah. blood donation yeah. camp uh, <laughs> in Punjab. Who is he? Ram Rahim is right, no? Yes, uh, uh, Nitin. Sachat Rahim. Dera Sachat Rahim. Dera Sachat Rahim. Dera Sachat Rahim. Dera Sachat Rahim. They hold the record for largest number of collections on a single day. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, See, he told Rahim. Round. No, 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 no. Minus 10, 46. <laughs> they twice wrong. Okay, and uh, chocolate for Dr. Nitin. Okay. No, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> so on uh, 10th October 2007 in uh, Sirsa, that is where they did uh, Haryana. The next question directly to team 2. Okay. It is there. I understand it's there. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, what is known as red rain in Kerala. Happened in few parts of Vaina, Trivandrum, decades back and also supposedly happened again in past few years. Okay. What is it or what is the scientific basis? Anybody for the pounds? Okay. You for the pounds. Uh, direct question to team? Two. Two. No? Huh. Maybe sulfur compounds in the atmosphere? Uh, no? no? Team one? Uh, pollution due to what? No. Team, uh, you are given the right answer. Yes? Team. No. Acid rain only. Acid. Uh, not acid. Uh, components. In the... No. Anybody from the audience? Nuclear. 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 No, 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 no. Yes, which one? It's an algae, red algae called Trentophila. Okay. Uh, recently, it was also supposed to, people have noticed in Trivandrum, two years back. You witnessed. Okay, so the pounds was correct from team six, they will get full 10 points. And Kalam Nagar will get half a chocolate. Okay, next direct question to team one. Okay. So this church in Kerala made news all over the world because of a unique uh, system or a practice that they started. Okay. Uh, okay, I will tell it. Anybody wants to pounce? Okay, nobody wants to pounce. I will give the clue also. All churches accept donations in the form of monetary or anything. This church said we will accept donations of blood. I want you to tell where is this church? Anybody for the pounce? Okay, that question you can take. Yes, Trivandrum where? I want the full answer. Okay, team. Where is I don't know. Team six. Like this. Really, no? Team five, four. Um, Nea Tingara side, uh, uh, Nea, uh, Maram, uh, uh, not Can you tell the name of the church? I think it is St. Anthony. Okay, I will give it to them. It is St. Anthony Church in Nea Tingara. One chocolate for Angel because she was uh, uh, pouncing on the question though from the audience. 
So it is Saint Antony's Church in Nayat in Kerala. No, 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 no. Okay. So next two rounds will be conducted by Rahul. Scores. So, uh, scores at the end of uh, two rounds? Yeah. Okay, uh, as of now, the teams. The team leading as of now is team 1 with 25 points. Second in line is team 2 with 17.5 points. Next is uh, team 3 with 7.5 points. No, this is a bounce, no? This is a bounce round. You did not get direct. Okay. And uh, next is team 6 with 5 points. And team 4 and 5 uh, had to open their accounts. Money after donation. Next, next, who uh, who clicked the button? Yeah. On the screen. Hmm. So he donated blood initially, then he donated grass also. Wonder the professional donation. Yeah, professional donation. But why A B B was uh, uh, wrote a letter to them uh, against an objection they found in the thing. Next, next. Okay. So because uh, they were promoting paid donation. Yeah. From that movie, so this is not wrong. But this is wrong. No, actually, this movie, if you know, like the story sets in 1980s, so that time it was kind of okay. You yes. can stop at that point so that they understand. I don't think like I should highlight it. No, like they should have got it that time. Over, no, no, but but I think like I another teams can take the. No, no, no. 
fine actually uh, everyone is like partially right the problem was in the Actually, the back was uh, funny. Actually, there may be many mistakes, but A B B specifically wrote the letter because uh, before 1980 itself. Back, no, the the blood back should be uh, should have written oh. paid donor. Here it is written vol volunteer donor. If you are taking money, if you are taking money, uh, paid donor should be written, not the volunteer donor. Volunteer donor is someone who is not taking money. So they wrote a letter pointing out that mistake. So so here like. <laughs> Even before the video I said it is high press because in the profession we don't need everything for money. No? Uh, then we can give them half. Sir, half. Give them half. Should be half. What you have done? That is. Give them half. Only after donation. That's not a problem back back in the, the days, 1980s. Like it was not a problem. Was at that time there were two kinds of donation: voluntary and paid. Paid. But both have to be written on the back. If you see the bag, it is written volunteer, and then you gave the money. That is what I am in the subject. I will let you. Next, next. To uh, group number two, in the movie Mad Monster released in 1942, which was banned for 10 years, there was an announcement in the title related to blood transfusion. What was that? The clues lie in the question itself. You can take guesses if you don't know, because the question is directly directed to you. You can take a guess. No issues. Fucking blood. No, and nobody pressed the buzzer also. Audience wants to take. If nobody presses the bounce, uh, buzzer, then it will not be transferred. Actually, Tasting blood. Eh? Tasting blood. No. Okay. So, the mad monster in the movie, actually what happens is, after the transfusion, patients, uh, he starts to become a monster like that. So they, it, it got banned for that reason, that uh, the blood transfusion, it is, uh, it creates a misconception regarding the blood transfusion. So they uh, took an announcement like that, that there is no problem uh, regarding transfusion. You can uh, go on with the transfusion. So to um, avoid the misconceptions among the public. Okay. Mad monster. No, I will not give you taglines which will be like revealing the answer. Okay, so the next question. The movie New Blood, directed by Po Soi Chiang, 2002, is the story of the ghost of a transfused woman who haunts three blood donors. Not because they did not save her life, actually, she was suffering from a uh, terminal cancer. But because their donations also saved the man with whom she had decided to end her life. It's a funny story actually. So, uh, I wanted to share this information. So, just you can take the guess which is the country of origin of this movie. Korea. Nobody pressed the buzzer. I mean, yeah, this is our question. <laughs> this is their question. We are just thinking. Japan. Ah. Korean. Korea. Anyone else? Huh? China. China. Anyone else? Yeah, <laughs> but you have to press the buzzer, sir. If you. <laughs> no. Anyone from the audience? 
Hongkong, who 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 told Hong Kong? Yes, Hong Kong is that. <laughs> Hong Kong is no, it was China. China British. <laughs> it was British. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the we'll go to the next question. Marks, marks for the audience only. Like there is. Ah, but but like who who uh, group number four and six? Ha. Huh? Minus two point five or minus five? I think I want we want to promote buzzer in this round. Minus two point five. Okay, next question. Which Marvel character becomes the superhero after she, getting a compatible she Hulk. Transition? She Hulk. Yes. She Hulk. She Hulk. You, oh, this is the question is there. Right answer. First right answer. Of Okay, so next question is for five. Group five. 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 Group five. In a 2002 Hollywood movie directed by Stuart Bade, the captain of the spaceship must cope with his clone who is going to die from a genetically caused illness caused by defective DNA used in the cloning. The survival of the doubly cursed needs blood transfusion from the source, that is from the captain, which in this case would be a kind of genetic therapy. What is the name of the movie? It is kind of a pretty famous movie. That's why I am asking the name of the movie, otherwise like I would have asked something to guess. No. Minus mark is only minus 2.5 for buzzer. If anyone wants to take. One more clue. If anyone wants one more clue. Something related to sky or something there is in the sky. You have to press the buzzer. Star Wars. Okay. Star Trek. Star Trek. Uh, what to do? Like they they told two answers. Are you sir actually? <laughs> Star Trek was Star our answer because we know George Lucas is Star Wars. So okay. It's definitely not okay, Star Wars. Okay, fine. Star Trek is the answer. Star Trek. Star Trek the nemesis. <laughs> they have opened the account now. Like so, let them type it. <laughs> So next question. Ah, this is a question. Polycythemia, Rubra Vera. Polycythemia, Rubra Vera. That was from famous Lalo Lex dialogue. Polycythemia, Rubra Vera, that was the answer. I didn't even get the time to... They press the buzzer and write. So the next question should be will be we'll be starting from So so sir, like I feel I feel we can take away the negative marks for this round. Otherwise, like nobody will be trying for buzzer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Minus two point five. Minus two point five. Uh, 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 marks now, scores now. After three rounds, the scores. <laughs> I don't know who is going to be at sixth now. I just want to make it sure that like one Malayali is there in the team. That's it. <laughs> no, but everyone had the chance. No, you could have pressed the buzzer. Buzzer also they pressed the first. Nana. 
I have some questions for the audience also that I will keep it for the last. So the score is going uh, going to be for first team it's twenty five, second team twenty two point five points, third team seven point five points, fourth team twelve point five points, and sixth team also twelve point five points. Okay, okay. the so, last round so. Uh, In the movie Forensic, Malayalam movie, the villain evades the suspicion of police till the end through a phenomenon called. Kaimur. Uh, you will get the chance if they don't answer. That is, uh, he had Kaimur. Uh, you will get the chance. Matching DNA, uh, matching. It was uh, fingerprinting. His fingerprint was not there because. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. You can. But actually, uh, he had uh, uh, received a, a transplant, so uh, his transplant? DNA what had transplant? changed. Uh, Allogenic transplant and uh, Allogenic? stem cell transplant. Okay. Hmm. So he had uh, uh, two, two blood, blood groups before the right, transplant right, and after right, the right transplant. Right answer. Right answer. Uh, post transplant. Actually, phenomenon is post transplant chimeras. So next question to you. In a Tamil movie, the heroine contracts HIV through through drinking. Okay, you know the answer. You got you got the question. Please, audience, please don't prompt. No, please don't prompt. <laughs> you don't know. Ah, no, no, then. That is because they pressed you before you. They pressed first. They, they pressed press first. No, no, they press, keep pressing. They keep pressing. Yeah, we are so excited no, about no, no. it. They, they got there. What is the answer? Are we, are we? Are we right hands? Are we right hands? Uh, we can skip the, anyway, like they answered the question. We can skip now. 30 seconds. I don't know anyone in the real life like has contracted HIV through this, but this movie showed this. There was a controversy regarding like on both sides. Theoretically, it is possible, practically not like that. So next question. In the Malayalam movie Sevens, Maniam Raju's character is a professional donor. Earlier, it was legal in India. From which year professional donors got banned? The direct question to you. Direct question to you, you know, this people. After them, you go, you get the chance. 1998. 1998. Right answer. Ah, direct, direct. Next question is for you. Uh, an episode of a 1988 US series, Tales of the Crypt, directed by Elliot Silverstein, was centered around a night watchman in a blood bank played by Malcolm McDowell. One day, the director of the establishment discovers the packets of blood are constantly disappearing. What was the reason? Like you can take a guess. He did a sales of. Uh, he was selling. And anyone else press with the buzzer? No, this this team. Okay, huh? Right answer. He was a vampire. He was a vampire, so he was drinking blood. So these questions are like you can take guess also. Like they guessed all. I don't think like you knew about the movie. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so next question. In the 1995 US movie Outbreak, directed by Wolfgang Peterson, a pandemic appeared in a village in the Embata Valley in Zaire, is getting overcome by the transfusion of the plasma that was rich in specific antibodies. Which was that disease? 
at least in this round you take buses because this can be right there are not much options a uh, first 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 option for them you have no negative marking you can take any yes malaria no next uh, zika virus zika no not much leave you are getting closer you take the guess yaar take the guess it's 2.5 anyway like to matlab this is the last round i guess <laughs> Uh, sir, one more. One more, no one more. Huh. <laughs> sir, is it smallpox? No smallpox. You take guess. You take guess. <laughs> no, after taking after taking the buzzer. Ah, uh, no <laughs> <laughs> For audience, it's Ebola, yar. Ebola. Actually, in 1995, the movie showed that, and in 2015 only people started doing convalescent plasma for Ebola. Last question: This video was released by NBTC 13 years ago as a motivation for voluntary donations. The girl in the video is suffering from. Hello, uncle. Hello. मैं आपको thank you कहना चाहती हूँ. Thank you. किस लिए? वो आपने मुझे ना. Right answer. चलो ठीक है. <laughs> okay, like I have five questions for the audience that we can do if time permits in the last. For the audience. Okay, okay. The following song is from which movie? Audience, audience, for audience. कौन कौन होता है पानी नहीं कौन कौन होता है पानी नहीं नो वन यार राइट राइट इट द मूवी हैज अ लाइक वेरी फनी सीन वेयर लाइक थ्री ब्रदर्स फ्रॉम through three windows we can see a church a temple and another mosque and three brothers are donating for their mother without knowing the usual scenes in the past so there was a, like actually sir uh, abhishek sir's paper you can see the what all mistakes they have done if you read that paper this is a scene from a 1973 comic series monty python's uh, flying circus what does the donor want to do it is muted intentionally so it's a blood bank one donor uh, comes to the blood bank and what is he asking Take guesses here, like it's just a just an audience round. It's fun round. No money. Like you can also participate. This is for audience. No issues. Like what is he asking? For more refreshment. No. <laughs> no. Huh? No. This is a funny scene. Funny scene. Is he tensed? Huh? No. No. He's asking it secretly, no? Like so, there will be something which we, eh? yeah, not wash up. <laughs> very, 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 very similar to that answer. Very similar, eh? no? Very similar to this answer. No, urine. <laughs> he was asking if he can donate the urine, sweat or spit or whatever he wants, and the uh, the blood bank personnel is keep on getting annoyed. Like we you know you cannot. This is a blood bank. This is not a urine bank. That's what he says. so which hollywood film came up with the slogan give till it hurts as part of their movie promotion campaign eventually making the american red cross society associate with them for promotion this it's a very famous horror movie no tumma parna conjuring 
No, it's it's not that kind of horror. It's like a slasher type of movie. Where you will be scared. So, right answer. But I don't know. Like <laughs> Chocolate. Okay. So is the answer. Just, just, just last, last question. Last question. What is the context of this 2019 Malayalam movie song? Nila, Nila, Nidia, Nila, Nila, Moria, Olia, Vinay, anyone, anyone? Uh, context. He's a donor or. Actually, in movies, usually uh, the heroine is getting impressed by the hero, by some like the uh, hero will be beating up some villains and all those. But in this movie, the heroine is getting impressed by the hero donates blood. So I, I, I see a hero in you. That's, that's, that's the context. So we wind up, wind up. So first of all, give a big round of applause for all the participants. OK. So the I request uh, Professor Sushila Madam to come over to give away the prizes. Third prize goes to Dr. Mohandas and Arun Nayak with 22.5 points. Second prize goes to Dr. Junith and Hari Priya. And the winners of today's quiz is Dr. Shivanand and Arya Nayak. Nayar. Thank you, thank you one and all. Uh, we'll start the GB straight away. Thank you. Uh, now I call upon Maya Madam for the oral paper presentation uh, declaration. Hello. Let me announce the results of the oral presentation. Before that, I think we are coming, uh, we are winding up the uh, academic sessions now. I'm so happy and uh, feeling very proud to stand here because uh, the performance of our young transfusion medicine people are improving day by day and they are having excellent they are getting excellent knowledge from the, from their institutions under the guidance of their good teachers and everything okay they <clears throat> thank the organizers for giving me also a chance to participate in the youngsters group when though as a guide or as an assessor. Anyway, uh, let me announce the results of the uh, free paper presentation. Most of the papers were good papers, but I found it very difficult to put the first mark, second mark, and third mark. Anyway, first I will tell the third position. Third prize goes to Dr. Hari Priya.
there was a uh, tie between the other two prices that is first and second it was difficult for me uh, the first to be given to which person because the scoring was the same for the first and second positions one is uh, dr akshaya and the other is dr mohan das i think considering the or as say uh, as a token of encouragement i will give the first prize to the youngster okay is it okay for you wow. <laughs> So congrats, Akshaya. You presented well. Especially you did everything in detail. And uh, the topic was not, uh, it was an ordinary topic, but still uh, you made it very good after your presentations and answered well to all the questions and all. Okay, congrats. I invite Mohandos to come before giving the certificate. I have to tell something. Your case uh, was very interesting and so attractive and very good. And they really appreciate your efforts put in this field and also teaching our students <laughs> when they come to MCC. Thank you so much for the nice presentation and congrats for the prize. Thank you. Next, we have the best P Madam. best PG award declaration, and I also invite uh, Sushila Madam also to be on stage. We had uh, nine nominations. So, uh, Madam will be opening the envelope and declaring. Best PG award. Best PG award. All are very anxious to hear who is getting the best PG award. And let me break the suspense. Dr. Angel Mary Sam. She's congratulations, Angel. Woman power. These uh, nine applications were sent to two external experts, and from them, they had uh, selected Dr. Angel. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, madam. Okay. Uh, we have a very important module which has taken, uh, like we have formed from among our students and faculties itself. So I call upon Maya Madam to come forward once again for our uh, module release. And we would also call uh, a postgraduate student to whom we would like to give any any postgraduates uh, who would like to come forward, postgraduate students. Yeah, PGs. That, that's what I'm telling. PGs only. Any PG can come forward. Come, no, Akshay itself can come. No other PGs in the hall. We will also call upon uh, Abhishek sir, who was the person behind the module. He has uh, done tremendous work in bringing out this. Sir, what? Chair, which chair, which? Sri Devi. Junit is there. Doctor Shanavas.
PGs, any PGs in the hall or just finished PGs also is okay. So, yeah, we they will get a free module. That's the that's the. <laughs> so we are no you <laughs> like no PGs in the hall just. So we are going to release the first module of uh, TMAS and it's on transfusion reactions. And I also call uh, Abhishek sir also to be there. He's the main author behind. The no, no, no. Editor. editor, editor. Hey, Sriraj, Sriraj. Where's Dr. Sriraj? Anybody else? No. Dr. Sriraj also. Martha Babu. Ellarum or kaiyile book ko cholo. Book na first chatta. ഒരു <laughs> 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 so i realized how difficult it is to make one book uh, of course uh, most of you have been the authors of this uh, first of all uh, shri raj who helped us very much in uh, editing and uh, planning and all that and uh, which i thought was the most difficult part but the second part was much more difficult actually making it a book shanawas is the one who helped me a lot uh, i like to and not only shanawas he also has lot of people who have helped him i was just want him to uh, we need to acknowledge and thank them for their support and the work that they have done uh, thank you so much abhishek sir uh, and uh, this book the publication of book, everything was actually written by uh, all the faculties uh, and sir then the for printing and publishing and uh, for this actually it was it's like some job and for this actually dme thomas mathi sir helped me a lot uh, using sars contact maya madam helped me a lot and maya madam sir everybody helped me overcoming the hurdles uh, for publication the book and every time i was in contact with abhishek sir whenever i call whether in the morning or in the evening or night whatever hurdles i face during the publication i used to call sir and sir will be guiding me you do like that you do like this and ultimately nice. we got we got ss and uh, uh, the sri kumar nair sir uh, he is actually the senior most uh, uh, literature person he actually helped us to make this content to be organized in such a manner so this this will be a handy book for all the post graduate students and uh, i thank all the members of tmas uh, for coming out with this book thank you so much thank you sir so all of you will get your copy uh, uh, the tmas organizing committee will uh, see how to do that uh, however uh, there are few copies here which i will give it to you this is you can give it to your uh, departments or libraries okay just to spread the word Uh, don't even don't just uh, uh, think keep it in transfusion medicine you want to give to clinical departments also it's fine okay and all of you will get your own copy later date so okay so don't worry about that so whatever you are getting today you are free to give it to whoever you are want unless you are not a teamas member <laughs> all teamas members will get your copy thank you so i would request all the present ec members to just come on to stage present ec members so and you will get your copy first of all that is correct